My name is Kevin Donovan. And I'm Michelle Antoine. And today we're here to talk about what's really going on with Ronald Johnson and within Johnston County. That's right. We know that Ronald has been under investigation that was reported in the Johnston County report as well as, as well as other news outlets. And we are here to talk about that and provide some information to the county residents. Yep. And in the Joko article, it said that Ron had handed some information off to people he trusted, and those people are Michelle and myself. Kevin and I were taken into the Smithfield Police Department. We were asked to come down, and we were asked about recordings. We were asked if we had helped record things. They are very curious and interested in recordings. Kevin and I have not helped record anything pertinent to the schools or anything else. What you are going to hear is an audio recording that a lot of people are interested in, such as the police department, the school board, and the school board lawyers. The audio was taken at an informal meeting by an elected official, which is Ronald Johnson. It was an informal budget meeting. And in December of 21, Ronald heard things on the audio tape that you're going to hear come up. Uh, he was troubled by what he heard. And when he heard it come up again in March of 22, he knew he had to take a recording so he could get that to the public at some point in time. Ronald Johnson was not in a position to release these audio recordings, but we are and we're providing them to the public of Johnston County. We are going to release an audio that you're going to hear, and it has some people on it. It has Kay Carroll, who is a current board member. It has Lynn Andrews, who is a current board member. Ronald Johnson, current board member. It has Superintendent Dr. Eric Bracey, and it has Stephen Britt, who is our Chief Financial Officer for our school district. Inside the audio, you're going to hear them talk about hiding money from the commissioners and from the taxpayers. This has been done before in 2007 and 2008 by Kay Carroll. We need you to know what's happening inside your schools. We are concerned and we believe that the entire county citizens should be concerned as well. Absolutely. And don't spend it again and do the same thing. Right. As much as put it in a line item. If you don't do that with these county commissioners, they're going to continue to say we want that money back. You, you, if you're not spending it, then you don't need it, and we want it in our account. So what we could do is, and kind of where how we were working to get get you the, to the closest we could to that thirty five million was to uh, take eight million dollars out of ESSER and put it back in the local, and then that will keep fund balance at about twenty three million. And then I'll give you another eight minutes. So you still got it. You just yeah. put it in the yeah, I don't care how you work. Now, Let's get to you that. mentioned, this is another but thing that... Hide your money. <laughs> this is another thing that Commissioner Patrick mentioned to me about, and I think he did to you, or no... Or he don't talk, talk to me at all. Okay. He talk to me. Was about how much more money are we going to ask for them for next year. And he called me and he said, now y'all can't come in here and ask for 25% more. Now that you've heard the audio, you can understand why we're calling on Beth Wood, our state auditor, to come and provide a forensic investigation into our Johnston County Board of Education financials. 